Hi everyone, Lisa Gornell here. I prefer to do my videos outside, but you know, as a mom, sometimes in the car in pickup line is what happens, and so that's my reality today. But I wanted to take a moment and really talk to you about all the fears that I've been noticing with my private clients, because I'm almost positive that they're coming up in your life as well. As we've entered this last quarter of 2018, you know, subconsciously, some of these things that you wanted to create throughout the year that aren't happening, hey Christy, are appearing, right? It's it's getting close to the end of the year. Did you accomplish what you wanted to accomplish? Are you doing what you would like to be doing? And what I'm finding right now is that a lot of people are feeling stuck. Almost like you've created like a tree trunk and you put these little roots into the earth and you're just trying to hold on to whatever's happening right now, whether it's working for you or not. And for a lot of people, it's not working. And so when these fears, these beliefs, these patterns come up that are keeping you from stepping into your truth, and your truth is what you're here to do, it's your passion, your purpose, you know, and the experiences that you would really like to have. When these patterns, fears, beliefs, triggers come in and they stop you from stepping into that, your job is to become aware of it and to let them go. So that's your first objective, right? And I've done lots of energy work on it and we'll do some more on it today as well. But you first got to become aware of why is it that you're not doing these things that you want to do? Why does this pattern have power over you? And how often does this pattern have power over you, right? Whether it's a fear, belief, what have you. And the thing is, is that a lot of these things are cyclical. Sometimes they're triggered by events that are happening in your life. And sometimes they're things that you really feel like you're overcoming slowly. But every time you overcome it, you hit another level of trying to overcome whatever this obstacle may be, right? So it's really important to notice why you keep doing the same things over and over again right? Some people say that's the definition of insanity. And for others, it's just a comfort zone. You know, maybe it just takes you a while to step out of doing these things. But when you are feeling a purpose, a passion, you know, like this is what I need to do. I have to do this. And you're not doing it. That's time for you to really look at what's holding me back. Why aren't I doing this? Because you are intuitively guided. Let me repeat that. You are intuitively guided. And what that means is that whether you take time during the day to connect with that or not, it's going to show up in your sleep. It's going to show up when you're daydreaming. It's going to show up when you're doing laundry, when you're putting gas in the car, when you're driving down the road. Your intuition will find a way to connect with you. And it will say, hey, you should be doing this. Or, hey, this is a great idea. Or you'll see a vision of you doing something. And those are all the things that you're supposed to be doing. But then once you have that, then we kind of maybe hold on to the vision or the idea, but then those fears creep in, like, how am I going to do this? Nobody in my family's ever done this before. What does this look like? You know, and then those tree trunks that were growing and rooting us into our current experience just kind of really, really grow. And so the one thing that I've been really helping my clients with this week has been literally breaking out of those roots and stepping forward into your truth. And so that's something I would like to help you guys with today. So go ahead and we're going to begin by closing your eyes. You're going to bring in the white light. The white light is God, love, universe, source. You're going to bring that white light in from the top of your head. And it's going to go gently through your body, all the way down to your feet, and into the earth. I am peace. I am calm. I am balance. And then whatever it is that you're afraid of, whatever it is afraid that you're afraid to do, whatever these fears and beliefs are, whatever these triggers are that are happening right now, I want you to imagine taking them all and letting them disappear out of your body. So you can pull them out like weeds. You can imagine disappearing like smoke. Become aware of where it's at in your body. Um, I'm feeling like it's mostly in the stomach area right now or in the chest area, but right now I'm feeling the stomach area. So you want to pull that out of your stomach area. And I want you to replace it with a soft blue and then a soft purple light. So see those lights coming from behind your body gently all the way forward. I am peace. I am free. I am calm. And then I want you to imagine that you're stepping into whatever it is that you're being guided to do. So imagine just stepping into that energy and feeling peace and free and calm. And knowing that everything works out perfectly. Everything works out in the best way possible for everyone involved. Any fears that are kind of lingering or hanging out or trying to pull you back, just let them go. I am peace. I am free. All is well. And then imagine being in that space. 
of living your passion, living your purpose, stepping into your truth and feeling how amazing that feels. And tap into that energy. That's what you want to focus on, how good it feels to be in that space. And then when those fears, those beliefs, those triggers, those patterns come back into play, your job is to remember how it feels right now in this moment, to connect with that space. And then go ahead and bring a soft pink in from the top of your head. Let it flow gently through your body, down to your feet, and into the earth. I am safe. I am whole. All is well. And then when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. And so the key is, is to become aware of when all these other things are trying to control you, when they're trying to pull you back, trying to hold you back. Your job is to notice them, to stop them. You can do an I am grateful. You've heard me talk about that before, right? To say I am grateful for, that'll pull you into this present moment. Something else you can do is just step into that energy that we just found for you, right? So when you are stepping into your truth, when you are living your purpose and your passion and your loving life, what does that energy look like? Step into that. And then all these other things that just keep trying to nag at you and pull you down, it is your job to say, no, thank you. I don't need this anymore. And to let that all go. All right, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below and you know that I'll get back to you. I hope you have a lovely day and that you start tackling all those fears and stop letting them have control over your lives. Have a great day. Thanks.